I want to introduce Esri's newest mobile app, ArcGIS Field Maps. In its first release, it will combine the editing capabilities of Collector with the viewing and location tracking functions of Explorer and Tracker. Today I'm at a construction site doing some asset collection. Let's see how Field Maps can help me get my work done. Viewing and understanding the specific details about all of your utility's assets is critical to daily operations. For example, I can look up additional information about this valve at the end of the street. I can also take a look into its historic maintenance records as well, and in particular, see the work that was done last January. Field Maps also allows for the use of high accuracy GNSS receivers to collect newly installed assets, like this valve. With two taps, the location is recorded. Now information about the valve needs to be entered. Field Maps allows collected asset information to be placed into logical groups to simplify data entry. When combined with default values and drop-down lists, data collection is faster and easier. I'll set this valve type to gate and submit this feature. Snapping also ensures the proper placement of new features that I need to collect as well. I'll add a main segment to connect this newly collected valve to the other valve at the end of the street. Now I need to record some information about it. One of the exciting new features about field maps is the addition of smart forms. This functionality only shows fields that need to be completed for this new feature based on my inputs. Right now, I can only see general details, but when I set the main type to distribution main, an entire section with additional fields is now visible and already filled in with default values. Time is saved when I only see the appropriate fields as I collect data. Existing assets can be updated as well, and smart forms can make this process more accurate too. The yellow valve at the end of the street needs to have a status updated from open to closed due to construction in the area. I can tap on this valve, select it, and begin editing it to change its present status from open to close, and I'll see that a new notes field is now present to me. I can even fill this out using voice recognition software. Valve closed due to ongoing construction. And I'll submit these changes. The valve is now read for others to see that it's been closed and the notes are there to explain to others why the status has been changed. I can also share information using markups. Notes can be added to the map for others to understand conditions on the job site. Due to active construction on the houses behind me, I can't GPS newly installed water laterals. So here, I'll add a markup to this location, and I'll add a note to it saying that construction is in progress and submit it. As you've seen, Field Maps allows data to be viewed and collected in the field, but it also lets users share their locations with managers throughout the day to improve coordination between field crews. I can turn on Tracker by tapping on the top of the screen and flipping the switch next to track my location. And if I want to see those tracks from throughout the day, I can turn this layer on in the map as well. ArcGIS Field Maps allowed me to more efficiently and accurately view, collect, and share data, all from one application. But what does it look like to coordinate an entire team of field workers? Let's go back into the office and take a look. Regardless of the apps that you use in the field, your crews and assets can be visualized using ArcGIS dashboards to increase coordination at utilities of any size through a common operating picture. Here I have a quick overview of my assets, field crews, and work orders. Knowing this allows managers to make informed decisions using real-time data. This main break is an urgent issue that needs to be responded to immediately. And since I know the location of my field crews, I'm able to determine who's nearby, and who in particular is closest. In this case, I can see it's Jonas, who's a little over a mile away, so I'll contact him first. And if additional support is needed, I'll reach out to Mike as well. As the situation begins to unfold, it's important to understand the different assets that are in the area, such as service connections or fire hydrants, to begin to paint a picture of the different assets that might be impacted when this leak is isolated. 
Utilities don't get to choose when emergencies happen, but by having the right technology in the field and office allows you to respond with coordinated operations for infrastructure management. Thank you.